Now let's have blessings blessings three. Okay, set three na po tayo for science instruction focusing on research. Let's have number 51, which is not a validating procedure. So among the choices, sino po sa kanila in, ay hindi validating validating procedure. So from the options, isa lang po yung hindi validating procedure. Siya po si clustering. Okay, clustering po is not a validating procedure in research kasi po yung clustering is just a representation of the data analysis technique in which similar data points po are being grouped together based on their characteristics or attributes. This, uh, ito pong clustering na ito can be used as a method of exploratory data analysis to identify patterns or relationships in the data, but it is not a method of validating research findings. Triangulation of FGDs and reliability testings are uh, validating procedures po. Let's have number 52. In citing references, the notes bibliography format list using what type of heading. Okay, what type of heading is this? It is the bibliography. Okay, bibliography. Let's have 53. Okay, wait po. Yung bibliography section po is typically titled as bibliography and it includes all the list of all sources na sinite po ng document that is arranged alphabetically by the author's last name. Okay, yan po yung pagsasayit natin ng references, yung bibliography section. 53, which contains the brief summary of a research report. Okay, brief summary, ano pong tawag dyan? Tawag dyan is abstract. Okay, abstract. 54, this qualitative approach provides comprehensive description of the culture of group of people in a study. Okay, anong qualitative approach po ito? Pag culture o group of people po, ang itasagot mo natin is ethnography okay ethnography because uh, ethnography involves spending an extended period of time sa community na ina uh, niri research nyo po or being studied po na kinokonduct po niyo so mga members ng community at any data po na kinokolekt mo po such as interviews field notes at saka mga si uh, different artifacts 55 in the preliminaries which elements provide the list of all content of front matter, body, and back manner. Kaya ano po ang mga, ano po ang section sa research po na meron, de, doon natin makikita yung mga list po. Okay, list ng mga elements like chapter, yung uh, anything na nandown po sa study po. Ang tawag po natin dyan is, syempre, yung table of contents. 56. The use of a footnote is common with what format? Okay, ano format ang commonly po na ginagamitan natin ng mga footnotes? Ang format na po ito is yung notes bibliography. Okay, notes bibliography. 57. The sentence style capitalization of book title and other references are associated with the form and style of a what? Anong uh, format po ito? Yung my sentence style capitalization capitalization book title and other references. Ang format po ito is what we call the Chicago style. Okay? Chicago style. In this Chicago style po, siya po yung first word, yung first word po of the title and all other words except for the articles, conjunctions, and prepositions are capital, capitalized. 58. It refers to the following ethical considerations below. The no harm, do good. The focus is in, syempre, non-maleficence and beneficence. So, si non-maleficence and beneficence po are two of the four ethical principles that are commonly cited in research ethics. Meaning to say, yung non-maleficence po means do no harm and requires the researchers to take steps to avoid harming participants. Yung beneficence naman means do good and it requires that the researchers take steps to ensure that the benefits of a study are to outweigh any potential risk. So, kaya ang sagot nito is non-maleficence and beneficence. 59. Giving credit where credit is due, illustrative which of the following ethical concerns. So, giving credit meaning to give justice and fairness. Okay, justice and fairness. Number 60. This is unethical when a researcher copies material intensively from others. Okay, this is an, an unethical po ito kapag ang si researcher po is nagkukopya po ng material that intensively para sa kanya lang po from others. Oh, syempre. So, anong isasagot natin dito? So, uh, plagiarism. So, plagiarism is that it needs to have what? 
So anong uh, anong ethical uh, proposition po ito? It is the right to full disclosure, disclosure. So kaya ang ginagamitan natin para to avoid uh plagiarism po is that we need to cite them. Okay, we need to acknowledge them. So we need to fully disclose all of the sources na ginagamitan natin sa pagko-conduct ng study. 61 When a researcher said there is no need to inform the parents of the pupils that we are changing the lunch schedule for a few minutes. So, there is a change po. Ang sinasabi po ng researcher is, hindi na po need na gumawa tayo ng informed consent. Pero dapat, this means that um, it should be needed. Kasi we need to have, we need to inform the parents first. Para dun, para maalaman nila kung ano po ang mga possible changes. If ever there are activities na Ah, uh, change natin yung prospect po or yung uh, merong change of schedule or mer mer merong change of activities. So dapat inform po talaga sila by informed consent. 62. Sampling design in which the investigator simply takes the closest individuals as subjects of the study because they are most available. Ang isasagot po natin dito is incidental sampling, okay? Or, or otherwise known as convenience sampling. Convenience sampling, di ba? Takes the closest individuals as subjects. So, meaning to say, it is more convenient that way because they are most available. Kaya, incidental sampling. 63. Sampling design in which the population is grouped into small units. Okay, meron tayong key term po dito. Group into small units. Meaning to say, we are clustering them. So, cluster sampling. 64. The best random sampling design since every member in the population is given equal chance of inclusion. Okay, given equal chance of inclusion. Meaning to say, it is not restricted. Okay, anong isasagot natin? Unrestricted random sampling. 65. Sampling design intended to improve the validity of the sample and is applicable when the population being studied is homogeneous. Okay, yung study po daw is homogeneous. So, meaning to say, we are using a systematic random sampling po dito. Yan po yung intended ano sampling kapag homogeneous po yung study yung yung kaakibat po na data po your yung population 66 this is an overview of what has been written about a specific topic okay what has been written syempre yan yung overview ng literature review okay literature review 66 67 which of the following is not a purpose of literature review in qualitative research so among the choices hindi po kasali si to predict the future outcomes or situation because we are just citing resources or foundations or basis po para sa study ninyo. Yan po yung review of li li related literature or literature review. 68. The reason why literature review in qualitative research is conducted after the data have been collected and analyzed is to, syempre, to provide background of what is known before data analysis. So, in research po, we need to have uh, data po muna before we do analysis. Kaparan, meron tayong foundation or basis po uh, doon sa pag-analyze natin. Kasi mahirap po if either, if either wala po tayong uh, basis po for our study uh, para maikokondak natin siya. 69. Literature review in qualitative research is always traditional. The specific review method that focuses, focuses on theories or hypotheses and that which examines meanings and results of their application is to situation is called what okay so we are just uh, focusing on theories and hypotheses meaning to say it is conceptual okay conceptual gumagamit tayo ng mga concepts of underlying theories or hypotheses 70 when researcher Trina uses a completed study that she found in a peer reviewed journal So, source po niya is a peer-reviewed journal which is a secondary source. Okay? Secondary source po siya. Yung primary source po natin is yung generated natin kapag uh, we are doing surveys at saka mga interviews. Yan po yung primary po. Yung tertiary naman po is just synthesized information from multiple secondary sources. Examples for that are yung mga encyclopedias, handbooks, at saka mga dictionaries. 71. Researcher Renato's style in writing RL is to put in parenthesis the author and the year of publication. Anong tawag sa in-text citation na ito? So, um, but, um, naglalagay pa siya ng parenthesis. So, meaning to say, like for example, Sabak 2023, parenthesis, di ba? In and out. So, anong in-text citation ito? Integral ba or non-integral? From the word integral, ini-integrate niya sa sentence. Non-integral naman, hindi. 
So kapag parenthesis po, non-integral po siya. Kasi hindi natin ini-integrate siya sa sentence. So nilalagay po natin siya at the end of the sentence. Non-integral. 72. This is that part of the qualitative research process where the researcher sets aside his own biases and personal views on a topic. Ano tawag po nito? The answer is bracketing. Okay, bracketing. So he... The researcher here sets aside his own biases and personal views, kaya binabracket lang niya yung mga concepts na needed lang niya. 73. Dr. Lisa Danawis conducted a qualitative study among the Kankanais of, Beng of Benguet to understand how they have resisted change throughout the years that resulted in their preservation of cultural traditions. So ang study po niya is dapat or best employed on what research design. So anong gagawin ni Dr. Lisa dito? So meaning to say, we, uh, marami siyang mga proponents. So, we, he or she uh, is using ethnographic study. Okay? Ethnographic study. 74. Researcher Rochelle decided to recruit as her qualitative study in Foreman's residence of Marawi City because her studies about exploring the, lived, uh, the life experiences of people displayed by the war. She justifies that such displacement experience will give insights as to how difficult it is to be living in an evacuation center for an indefinite period of time. He, he or she plans to gather data from them in groups rather than in, individually. So, key term po, plans to gather data from them in groups. From groups po, ang gagamitin po natin is focus group discussion. Okay, focus group discussion. Okay, sorry po, hindi ko po na change yung letter A dito. So, ang ginagamit natin is focus group discussion. Last number. Researcher Greg puts premium on, his, on selecting his prospective qualitative study in four months. Based on their available times, he, so he desires to conduct sampling. He must be employing what type of sampling method. Okay, so from this, he selected prospective qualitative study in four months. So, sineselect lang po niya at his own convenience. Kaya, convenience sampling po ang sagot natin dito. So, tapos na tayo sa set 3. Punta naman tayo sa set 4. Okay, last set po tayo, set 4. See you po sa next video.